Welcome everyone to the Conversations Art and Cinema series. My name is Pierce Kalea. Today we have the incredible Jeffrey Guerrero, founder and executive director of Catcher Film Series. Let's give a fine welcome to Jeffrey. Jeffrey, welcome. How did all this begin? And uh, and what has been the secret? Back then, unlike today, um, the opportunities were limited. There was only a handful of film festivals such as Sundance, Tribeca just started around that time, um, Berlin, Cannes. So it was very hard to break into it. Um, and I, as much as I tried, I would submit my, my student films. And I couldn't get into these festivals. So it was really challenging and hard. So I started working in reality TV for 10 years, um, doing grunt work, PA, driving vehicles, every, anything I can get my hands on and just make enough to, to put a roof over it. And then back in, in 2012, that's when the idea came to me. I had two horrible experiences at festivals. Um, one was uh, back in LA. I had, back in 2008, I had moved to LA and had a short film in my pocket. And I was shopping it around, trying to get it to festivals. And I got into this festival called, uh, I think at the time it was called the Bind Shorts Film Festival. And I won Best Short Film Award. And part of the deal was uh, I would get to develop my feature film. So I was out there in LA thinking I, I got my big break. Lo and behold, it was all bullshit. And nothing happened. I, uh, the, they, the company that was running the festival was running a pyramid scheme, um, taking money from filmmakers. It was all back then. It was like the Madoff, the whole the economy had time. It was a whole bunch of shenanigans going on. Um, and uh, so that experience, I turned it into the positive. I had it, it was in the back, it was in my head. I was like, I should just do my own festival. I mean, I'm going out there screening my films and you know, things weren't panning out. Then I came back to New York um, and an opportunity arose as well there. I had a, a chance to, to work with a film, a human rights festival in Spain. They wanted to do like a satellite festival in New York. So I uh, organized something. They had hired me to do something for like low budget. I put together this festival. It was, I believe, a three or four day festival. Got them a screening. They didn't give me any budget to, to run the festival. It was just basically me trying to figure it out. Um, and they said that we'll pay you later. You know, once the festival's done, we'll pay you. So I did the festival, got the press on. A, I got some local media coverage, got a free space. I was able to convince some theater, some like independent theater in East Harlem to uh, basically let me use their, their space for screenings. Uh, got a space in, in Union Square in Manhattan. This uh, another screening space that I was able to use. They, you know, I, I pitched them the idea. It was a human rights festival. It's you know, it's great. We're supporting humanity, and uh, it was great. It was a great festival. We we did this event. We had great panel discussions. We brought some pretty uh, big people on board to participate, including filmmakers, and uh, they never paid me. It was a human rights festival. <laughs> So those twin experiences, just, it was in my head. And finally an opportunity arose. My brother knew the owner of this like dive bar in downtown Manhattan. And uh, he said, hey, if you ever want to do it, you've been doing, you know, you've been screening your films at festivals and you, you were able to pull off this festival that never paid you. He said, if you ever want to do an event, we could put something together. So I, I put something together. It was just a local film screening series for local filmmakers from a diverse background. There was a lot of filmmakers from uh, different walks of life. Um, and we, it was right off the bat, it was a success. We were getting tons of people to come out. They would see their film. It wasn't competitive. There wasn't any, any competition about, it was just a great way to meet new filmmakers. It was an underground bar. It was really cool. And then it just took off over the years. It's just start, we started getting supporters, industry people that wanted to get involved, um, sponsors that would, were more than willing to help us out. And it just started growing and growing. And, uh, with the whole different movements the past few years, supporting filmmakers of color. BIPOC filmmakers, we were able to get more supporters and that's where we are now. We're supporting, we have, so we have different niche festivals. In addition to Katra Film Series, we have Bowery Film Festival, which is like a rock and roll film, film festival. It's, it uh, supports filmmakers from, from everywhere and just captures the vibe of the Lower East Side um, where the CBGBs was found. There was a whole rock scene over there. And uh, a couple of years ago, I started Katra Latinx Festival dedicated to Latino talent. Um, I, as a Latino filmmaker, I feel we don't get enough love in the industry. So I just want to give these folks uh, an opportunity to showcase their works. There's a lot of talented people out there. And yeah, so we just, you know, giving, it's all about giving a platform for filmmakers. They're having these two, these two experiences that, you know, I thought it, for me, I, as a filmmaker coming out of films, I thought it was the end of the world. You know, I couldn't, one film festival went out of business. They promised me a deal. Nothing happened. So the film festival never paid me. So I took a negative and turned it into a positive.